Hello everyone and welcome back to Spore! And we are back here on planet Thyssen with our new creatures, our carnivore creatures that were kind of like a double unicorn, weird little, not, I don't want to say slug, but we're looking suspiciously slug-like right now. Creature that is hopefully one day going to take dominance of the space skies and escape this horrible eyeball planet. Oh, I can't believe of all the plant life, of all the flora in the entire universe that we had to end up with, somehow we ended up with the nasty eyeballs on our home planet. That's just, that's a tragedy. I'm so sorry, little Leo, Plea. I want to give them like extra camouflage so they can like hide from the nasty eyeballs. But we're here, we are carnivores this time and one day we will enter the skies and be able to challenge the peace-loving ecology gurus the finna who we have played before and we're going to be playing alongside these guys for dominance of the galactic skies but for now for now we're going to skitter around we're going to leave the kids at home we're going to come dig in this pile of bones not right now oh i think i have to mate do i have to mate right now i'm kind of busy i'm trying to dig up this pile of bones Oh, I think I have to. All right, well, we're gonna have a little mating going on. First thing, apparently. I have to say that the closer I look at these little jet rumps, the less attractive they are. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're really actually super disturbing looking. I wouldn't mind getting rid of those. So we'll probably, we'll probably be uh, tossing aside our little jet butts and putting something else on instead. And I think that is what we are here for. We are gonna test drive our creature and we are going to give it some new bits and pieces if possible. I hope we have, <gasps> yes, the creepy and cute pieces came in this time. I was hoping that I had reinstalled my game more carefully this time. So hopefully we will have a whole new set of parts that we've not had a chance to deal with before. So this is gonna be exciting. Let's see what kind of mouths we can pick. Um, if I get rid of my mouth, then we can get, there we go. I kind of like the gobster claw. You know what I mean? It's like a good fast bite. Um, kind of. I kind of feel like these guys would be like really quick, but there's the mangler fish. Oh my goodness, look at that. Is that you? Is that you? Could we make that look? Oh my gosh, look at the jaw. I love like the creature creator because you can do so much with this. All right, well, we definitely need some kind of mouth. I feel like the gobster claw is just more their style. And I want to make this guy, I need some arms and legs. I kind of want more legs. Oh, look at this. We've got more hands to choose from now. Sweet. We're going to need more DNA points is what we're going to need. Because right now, I don't think we can get a second pair of arms. All right, there's our decorative pieces. Do we have more? Oh, we can have some flair. Oh, this is going to be so awesome. So I don't think I installed the creepy and cute expansion pack correctly for our finna. So these guys are going to have the very first ones. This is going to be awesome. We need to go get them some more DNA points though, because right now, right now, like I think we're just going to keep, should I keep these eyes? No, you know what eyes I want? I want these eyes. Oh, I can't use them. Well, then I need to keep the other eyes. All right. Well, we, we could get rid of our little, our little rump, but then we're slower. What does the little rump give us? It gives us like the sprint boost. And sprinting is actually something I think that these guys, I kind of want them to be like otters, maybe with like horns, ramming horns on top. So that's sort of why I envision for them. Oh, hey, you turned out pretty awesome. All right, we're just gonna kind of leave it at this. Um, though you guys have said, if I come into like the paint mode, and I like hold it down. Oh yeah, there we go. That would be some options. That would definitely be some options. And there's like creepy and cute. Oh, there's like a little Frankenstein one. That Frankenstein one would actually be really cool to use on creatures that we make in the future. Oh, gross. It's like, it's like a muscle one. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. But right now I think the camouflage feature of this guy works pretty well. Well, I say camouflage. Let's get back out there and let's actually take a closer look at what the colors of our planet are because we're gonna camouflage to whatever the colors are. So kind of red and purple. So next go around, we will try to hatch into something that is a little bit more red and purple. But for now, we need to learn to charge. Grr, grr, take that. Take that, is that good? Have I learned everything I need to know? Can I grow up now? Yay! Look at our little leaves. Woohoo! There we go. All right, that's better. So let's get let's get to this. Come over here, my little one. Much better. Now we're getting a start on these things. Can I please? Why can I push this around but I can't dig in it? This is driving me mad. It's like it's a glowing stick. 
Maybe it doesn't have, maybe it's not bones. All right, I'm ignoring you glowing stick. Rude much. I Oh, we need, I bet we need hands. That's probably what it is. All right, well, we're gonna come down and the war on the slugs begins. Grr, we're gonna get him. Oh, he's fast. Okay, so this slug, we need two more of these slugs. He's running for like his life here. All right, come on, Batsu. I'm sorry, the war on the slug begins. Oh, is he coming to defend? No, he's running for it. We've eaten, yay, we, we have victory over the slugs. Oh my gosh, the spoils of war. Slug war begins. Oh, look, and you can see one of our, our people singing in the background. All right, so we have eaten that, Batsu. Hopefully that'll give us not only energy, but let's see, we're gonna raid the nest again. Oh, there's a Batsu away from the nest. Exposed by the water. Let's go for it. Ah, da, da, da. Oh, it's the Alpha Batsu. Are we gonna take it on? Oh, it's a fight. It's a fight for survival. Come on, we need the DNA though. I'm gonna fight you for the DNA. He doesn't have a lot. He just like is smacking me with his little mouth flagella. So I don't think he's really fighting that hard. Whoops. All right. We're not going to go back into the ocean. We are, however, going to eat from this guy. Recover our health points. And then we're going to run around and we need to find some new parts. Because I think we found something there. But not what we need to be really cool. Look at this. What are you? Oh, it's like a giant piece of coral or something. That is awesome. All right. Well, let's do this. Oh, look, there's a seashell. I didn't know there would be seashells over by the seashore. That's amazing. I like it. I like it. There's another one. <gasps> you guys, we're finding all sorts of fancy pants seashells. Can I, like, pick these up? There's another one. Has this, has this always been a thing? I don't recall this ever having been a thing before. Oh, there's something singing over here. What are they? They're spittoons. Hmm? Well, I won't fight, fight them just yet because we need to look for some parts. I wish we were a little faster. And we definitely need to blend in more. Being green on a red planet is not helping with the camouflage idea. All right, what's over here? <gasps> There's a part, and it's more slugs. Oh, it looks like we are going to grow up as something that feasts on slugs. All right, so we've got some sort of ear thing. Oh, there's another piece. Oh, I'm so excited. So excited, gotta run for this. I think we killed all the Batsus. I need to manage my resources a little bit better than that. Oh, look at this. All right. Ooh, we got some sort of new mouth. That's so exciting. What the heck's over here? Already I've discovered something intriguing and different. And we're probably going to spend quite a bit of time, just so you guys know, as a creature in creature stage. Because it's so many people's favorite stage. And once you leave it, you can never come back. So let's see. What's over here? Like, uh. Actually, I'm having a lot of fun. Just like exploring around, looking around. Look at the, the rock shape over here. I wonder what the heck that is. All right, what's this? Oh, we've got another mouth. We're gonna have so many mouth options. I kind of like this mouth, but we can always have two mouths. That's something that we potentially can do. All right, let's see what's over here. Oh, come on, you're kidding me. This whole planet is just full of like fat little slugs and pears and like it's, it's just all there for the taking. All right. I'm gonna get you. Grr, I'm, I'm hungry. Take this. Oh, he can fight back a little bit better. With with what mouth? Who knows? All right. Grr. 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 Take this. All right. I have feasted him. I have feasted upon him. We'll have to let the population here, like, replenish itself. Because the others have run off. I know we don't need to eat, like, all of him. But I just want to clean up after myself. Though I guess I can leave the rest for some scavengers. All right, there's a nasty eyeball trees that we have to hide from. What else have we found? What's over here? What's this? What are you? You're a pretty plant. Pretty little plant. Ah, it's got eyeballs. It's not pretty anymore. It's not pretty. Run. Ooh. That looks like something who's going to eat us. So this is, we're going to like skididdle, which is a little bit less than skedaddling. They're like bird things. I feel like I want like some sort of shields on my back to defend against those guys. Ooh, so there's Ellie eyes. Hey, do you guys have, do you guys have uh, seashells? Or is that just my group? I think it's just my group. My group's awesome, just so you guys know. Hey, back off, back off. Grr, grr. Look at the roots on the weird, nasty, horrible eye trees. That's really cool. Okay, let's skitter over here. And come here, dig in here, find more parts for ourselves. A horror lump. 
<laughs> Maybe we'll put some horror lumps on. That would be kind of fun. So that adds to health. Nasty eyeballs watching our every move. Tuh. Don't need eyeball trees. Who needs eyeball trees? Like, why? Are they alive? They, 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 I don't, that's why I don't like them. They, they are on the boundary. They're too close to the boundary between plant and animal. It makes me uncomfortable. Also, there's a rotten fruit over here. I wonder if I could like scope out. Oh, here's another thing. There's another piece. Da, 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 da. We need faster legs. We need like more legs. So we need more DNA. Oh, we need to hunt more pear and we can get like more, more of the DNA. Okay. Where'd the pear go? There's the froth. There's the pear. All right. We're on the hunt. I'm going to do it. And we got a slot, slot jawed. Oh, what the heck? How do we find like every slug under the sun? I swear. Every other slug species is here. So we need to be a slug eating species. Over ear. Not that exciting. I want the fun parts. I want the cool parts. We're going to spend our time. Look at us. That guy's distracted. He's singing. He's singing to himself. Well, okay. We're going to hold still on the bushes. Oh, it's the alpha pair. Okay, I won't go for the alpha. He's going to be the strongest. There's the small one. It's, it's like, well, I don't know if you call that running. <laughs> it's escaped from the rest of the group. Into the bushes where I lurk. Oh my gosh. And what the heck is over there? Okay, it's like some gargoyle demon is over there. I think he's a little more highly evolved than us. So we're going to have to be careful. Come on, defeat the pair. All right, we got seven more DNA. Ah, oh, so exciting, you guys. I think we're gonna have more DNA. And there's something else. Are they eating off the bush? Was that the movement I saw? Were they like pulling things off the bush? All right, I just need to eat one more pear. I'm gonna take this small, weak one. Oh my gosh, it's night? Oh. Oh, that's really pretty. Okay, one day, one day, my little lion thing, my little lion otter uni double unicorn thing, we will reach the stars. For now, we hunt. Pear, it's not my fault. It's not my fault if you aren't, if you aren't tough enough. It's survival of the fittest. Evolutionary facts coming through. All right, all right, and there we go. All right, and there's actually two spots right here where we can get, um, where are we, and I'll leave the rest for the scavengers, where we can get more parts. So let's see what's in here. All right, ooh, gunner shows. So there's some arms, if we want to have arms, which could be potentially useful. There's another mouth. Who knows what that part is? A Chomposaurus. Ooh, and here's the scary, like, little nest. Those are for things that are going to be in the next stage, but right now they're just, like, in these weird cocoons that look so weird. All right, there's a little pom-pom in case we want to get all pom pom -y. All right, I think we've got some good parts. <laughs> Oh my! There's not even a chance! <gasps> that was not even... They saw me! I heard them! They saw me, and that was the end of it. Okay, so yeah, that was that was over pretty fast. Alright, well that's okay, because that gives us a chance to try to upgrade ourselves. We now know there are definitely some really tough predators out here who are going to completely eat us to pieces. So let's go ahead and let's do, where's my little mating call? There's my little mating call. Hello, ladies or guys or whatever. Maybe we don't even, maybe, maybe we've got like, there we go. Who knows how many? Oh my gosh, help, help. <laughs> oh, they're like, oh, you're mating. Okay, well, well, we'll stand back this time. This isn't good. We've been, our nest has just been invaded by dragons. I don't think this is going to end well. I really don't. This might be a constant cycle of birth and death over and over again. I, I'm thinking we need to start to upgrade ourselves a little bit. Just to prepare for the oncoming horrors that are about to, to completely fall upon our heads. So let's start with a better mouth. Um, maybe the terrapin? Actually, that kind of fits. Rawr! Like, we've got to start getting a little bit tougher if we're going to take on the world. And this one's just weird looking. Well, but, you know, being weird looking is an objective thing. Ooh, and I like the sharp teeth on that. So this is bite three charge. It actually has charge on it. Ooh, that would actually be pretty useful. 
So it does have charge on it, even if it is funky dunky looking. Oh, look at that. Oh, you could have a giant nose. Well, we could have like a better nose like that. All right, let's see. Hmm, what else could we sprinkle on here? I think I'm okay. If we have charge on the mouth, I'm okay with getting rid of our little rump, like rump tube. Um, no, that gave a sprint though. Okay, so we're gonna have to think about this. Um, well, now we have a better bite. Let's see. We could have better feet. I think better feet would be pretty useful. There's the Fatoon. There's the Skeletoes, which gives you sneak. Ooh, that's more like it. That's more what we're about is kind of like being able to sneak up to our prey items and like get in there and before they know it. All right. Because I think that we're kind of like a low lying like fast creature or maybe like when we stand up we can be like this hang on i have to try to there we go yeah kind of like this and then maybe move the legs back a little bit maybe increase like give us more of a waist but more of a rump for running and more of a front for running maybe it's really hard to make it look less like just like this tube thing unless you do something like this um because we want to try to have like a defined neck and head area. Man, I'm not very good at this, but that's okay. Because you know what? Sometimes you're not very good at something and you just have to keep practicing until things start making more sense. So that, that looks a little bit more segmented. Like we might have some actual pieces. We're still, we've got too much expense. So now we've got charge, we've got bite. Um, we actually have jump, I think because of these things. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of Sprint, but Sprint might save us in the situation where we are being horrifically chased at the moment in our own nest. I don't see this ending well. Um, we can do, we can get rid of the horns and we can actually get, oh, you can get strike, what? And spit and spit and charge and charge level two or like these, the little horns. That's not bad. And the little horns actually help. Like we could say the horns have like migrated down, but they help with um, getting a little bit more health too. So that might be good. All right, I wish the jaw wasn't so funky looking. All right, so this might have to be it for now, even though I'm not 100% happy with how it looks because it still looks kind of weird. We'll work on it. Here bear, ear wart. I don't think the ears really do anything. There's the Ellie eyes. Ooh, I kind of like the alien eyes. Or like these eyes. Oh, those eyes look really cool. Okay, off with these guys. <gasps> look at us! Oh my gosh, they're starting to look really neat. I want to tilt them like this. Oh, now we're talking. Now we're getting somewhere. All right, I'm going to lift you up a little bit more. And I'm going to move, let's see, some pieces back a bit more. Yeah, we'll figure this out. Okay, enough for diddling. Uh, let's let's do a quick test drive. See how you run. Oh my gosh! I don't know what I think about this. I think he needs a little bit more, more oomph to him. All right, and let's try that out. I think that's a little bit more balanced. All right, let's try this again. He's like, I'm not so fast. I'm not so fast. I'm not so fast. He's really not that fast. But it's, it's getting there. You know what? This is only our second evolutionary stage. So if we're going to blend in, then there's more purpley hues that we could try out. Because the planet is purple and we're trying to blend in with the planet. So it's mostly purples. Kind of like this. Kind of like these. Ooh, this one actually would probably be pretty good for blending in. That looks kind of like what the soil looks like, doesn't it? Or maybe we should go orange. I think the grass is kind of orange. I think that's too bright of an orange though. Maybe this or maybe this. This is kind of like grassy. It kind of reminds me of the stripes that creatures who try to hide in the grass will have. But I think this one actually might suit us best. Or this one. Maybe this one. Um. Oh, look at our little teeth. We're starting to look like quite the horrible monster. All right, let's just give this a go. I'm going to give this one a go and we're just going to see what happens. Especially because we're about to hatch into a nest that's being completely raided. Look at those guys. There they are. All right. We still look really weird. I want legs that like look like legs. I need to improve our bodies. All right. Are we going to do this? Is this going to be okay? 
<laughs> and now we're supposed to hunt the dragons. I don't think we can hunt those dragons. I don't think we've got the oomph to do that yet. But that's what the mission wants. So we'll have to remember. Look at those dragons. Look at them. So we could sneak. And then we can try to get up close to the dragons. Oh, he found us, he found us, he found us. Can we get far enough? Can we draw him away? Uh-oh. Oh, no, he found us. Attack, 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 attack. Use a raging roar. Oh my gosh, we're trying to fight for our lives here. It's not gonna work. Oh my gosh. Okay, so those dragons are really cool. What I think we need is a smaller body and more legs. Okay. Clearly, we're at the bottom of the food chain right now, you guys, and we need to do a little bit more work. Oh, our poor little babies. We're really homely looking. We kind of need to fix this. All right, so let's try once again. They're like, yay, you hatched. Yeah, let's try a mating call really quickly. And then we're gonna readjust a few things. The coloring kind of works, but it's kind of off. And it's kind of boring. It was more fun when we were green, but I'm just really obsessed with green stuff. Yeah. I need arms. Or another leg, or something. Oh, look at the fruit! It glows in the dark, what? I didn't know that. Alright. So let's try this again. Um, what to do? All right, we'll be really quick. I think I think about it too much. Let's just dive in. We're not going to think about it so much. We're just going to be like, okay, we've got to start making some sacrifices. They're going to start here. We're going to buff up these legs so they actually can start maybe looking a little bit like legs perhaps. Maybe do this, a little bit of this, or maybe like this. I, I feel like I need to like study the autonomy, like anatomy even. Um, there we go of how creatures are built now. So I can try to figure out why mine always look wrong and weird. <laughs> I think it needs to be smaller is the thing. Come on, can I make you smaller? Okay, what if I put this over here? Oh, there we go. Now we're actually talking a little bit more if you ask me. All right, we're gonna draw the back. All right. Maybe we need to be a little bit more compact. Like a little, maybe like more like a little chipmunk thing, who knows. Okay, and then can I get a leg? I want a second leg. Not a brontosaurus, maybe a thunder calf for the speed. Oh, in fact, we need to change off this old leg, don't we? He's like, help, help. Okay, let's do this. And then we're gonna rip those feet off. That sounds so terribly violent. And we're gonna kind of scooch things around a little bit. Oh, there we go. All right, scoot this around, scoot this around. This comes down. And, oh, there we go. That blends in with the body a little bit more. Maybe raise the body up some. All right, we got this, you guys. We got this. I think I think this is going to be much better. Already improvements. Charge, sneak, speed. Dance, charge, sneak, speed. Uh, we've got sprint, dance, jump, and charge with the webby walker. Then we've got charge and sprint. With the clippity, hmm. And then we've got jump and dance, and we've got charge and dance. Let's try the clippity, maybe. We're getting back to the unicorn aspects of things again, it seems. And I want more speed. I think that that's what we need. So let's go with another thunder calf. And it's gonna look really weird till we fix it, because it looks very, very weird right now. All right, and let's put this like up front, kind of down towards there. Increase this arm, decrease, decrease the size, and let's grab another foot, you guys. Okay, so we got another clippity. But it needs, it's, it's a predator. So we'll go ahead and raise your head up a little bit. I feel much better about this. <laughs> now it's actually starting to look vaguely like something. It's turning into more of a a carnivorous unicorn than anything, but we're getting there. This feels much better. Do we have anything else extra we can throw on top of it at all? Just as an extra perk. We could do more eyeballs. <laughs> we could do like more little eyes so he could have ears and things. Actually, we could do little ears, 
Oh my gosh, we could do tiny little ears. <gasps> oh, that was too cute. Okay, we're gonna have ears. We're actually gonna have ears. I don't think I've ever given one of my spore creatures ears because I am such a novice builder at spore. But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna have little ears that kind of turn down like this. So we're gonna put them a little bit more over here. No, we, I want them on top of the head because that was really cute. So up like this. And can I make them a little bigger? Maybe a little bigger? Ridiculously bigger? To be extra cute? Oh my gosh. This is more like it. Let's try this. Because it's kind of fun. What about this one? You know what? We're, we, might, we might just go ahead and stand out after all. Um, what about this one? I like these pre-made patterns if you can't tell. That one? No, not really. Not really. Let's see. Anything else? Anything else from the cute and creepy pieces put together? Um, you know, I think we're gonna be okay. I kind of like the thing we had earlier. It sort of stood out. But it really looks weird on this guy. What about this guy? And then we change the colors. Oh, that's really cool looking. I like the colors on him. All right, so let's go ahead and try to change the color up just a bit to something that blends in a little bit more. And then we'll go for the coat. Uh, the coat, we can actually do like the, the sort of yellowy hues. There we go. And then the details, the details is blue is really neat actually. I think those are gonna be like the things where you try to attract a mate so you have those details. This is much better. So far, if it's functional or not, we have yet to see, but they've taken a sudden dramatic evolutionary turn. So hopefully this will help. It's a dramatic evolutionary shift and hopefully it'll mean that we're a little bit more effective at exploring and wiggling out of here and not getting eaten by the dragons. Oh, look at the speed with our clippity clops. Yeah, I think we're gonna be okay, you guys. I think we're gonna be all right. It's not gonna be easy, but nothing in life is and there might be food on the horizon. So I will see you guys next time when we will dive out with our new speed and we will see if we can rush out there and hopefully be able to, to find some food. So I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.